So hi, my name's Joe Brewer, and I'm a change strategist. The thing that I want to talk to you about today is what every culture designer absolutely needs to know, which is the way that ignorance arises in a society. And I'm going to review this book, Agnotology, The Making and Unmaking of Ignorance, edited by Robert Proctor and Linda uh, Schweibinger. And um, this is a book about a new field of scholarship, agnotology, which is the study of how ignorance arises in societies. And the reason this is extremely important is because ignorance is something that can create, be created as a form of knowledge. So let me give you an example. Back in the early days of cancer research, it was discovered that there was a link between smoking and lung cancer. And so then the tobacco industry started to set up fake research firms to intentionally spread misinformation about the science. So what they did was they took a type of knowledge that was factually incorrect and spread it in society so that it's stuck in people's minds, making them ignorant of the real knowledge of the science, what the science was actually saying. So this process of designing and creating ignorance is something that is very, very important for us to understand as change makers. So more recently, there's also been the, um, the work over the last few decades where billions of dollars have been spent by oil companies to confuse people and misinform them about the threats and the findings of climate science. In the same way, this is a way of creating ignorance because the knowledge that gets spread, which is value judgments, beliefs, assumptions, assertions about what the science does or does not say, that actually gets in the way of people knowing what is actually going on. So one of our challenges as culture designers is to take this understanding of agnotology or the, the scholarly work studying how ignorance is created in society and then applying that knowledge to help the ideas that are needed for society to thrive and to have resilience for those ideas to spread. So one of the other things that I really liked in this book in particular was the way that it described how Different ways of creating ignorance have been used as kind of case studies throughout history. So yes, it goes through the Philip Morris story of lung cancer and its connection to smoking and also the disinformation and misinformation around climate science. But it also looks at more subtle issues that are equally important for making the transition to sustainability, such as the way that we view and comprehend human sexuality and gender differences between men and women. So one of the ways that ignorance was pervasive throughout most of medical history was in the confusion and, I would say, the um, attention being directed away from understanding female sexuality, which turns out to be very important for maintaining systems of dominance and oppression against women and patriarchal systems of power. So the, the way that ignorance was maintained about female sexuality in the female body was part of a larger system of oppression that kept patriarchal uh, masculine dominance um, types of um, worldviews and hierarchies in place. So this book explores the mechanisms and methods by which this ignorance is created, how it's maintained, how it's spread, and I think it's an extremely important uh, resource for anyone who wants to understand how to help the ideas spread that humanity will need which is exactly what culture design focuses on doing. So this is a great book as a foundational text for anyone that wants to understand how ignorance is created as a body of knowledge and what we can do about it. So I hope you go out and get this book and read it and then ponder and apply the thinking to your own work so that we can spread the ideas that humanity needs to, thrive, to survive and thrive. So that's it. Agnotology by uh, uh, Robert Proctor and Linda Schweibinger as the editors. Uh, go and get a copy and um, enjoy.